Well, even after a tough year like this, people want to send it off in style, and that's where our next guest comes in. Here's today in New York's Gus Rosendale with a master mixologist. Well, if we ever deserved a toast at the end of a year, 2020 is it. Jonathan Pogash, the cocktail guru, is here with a much-deserved treat. Jonathan, great to see you. It's been a while. It sure has been a while. This is amazing. I'm glad I'm able to uh, virtually see you. How are you. How are you holding up, and how's the drinks business doing these days? Well, you know, the drinks business is struggling. The restaurant industry is struggling. The cocktail guru is booming, which, which is kind of crazy. We're doing so many of these virtual corporate cocktail hours. Oh, that's cool. Now, I know a lot of people, we've also seen a rise in, in liquor sales at home. People are, you know, obviously, they have to be at home. Uh, are there any trends or any sort of spirits that took off this year? You know, what's got people excited? Yeah, you know, what I've realized is the two spirits that have really blown up, taken off, whiskey and tequila. Hmm. What are people making with those? It's just besides just um, drinking well, the meat. <laughs> yeah, you know, I feel like whiskey and tequila are like the comfort food of the drinks industry. You know, it's, um, it's these, you know, old fashions, classic cocktails. I'm actually going to make a variation on a bramble cocktail. Tell me a little bit more about the name of the drink that we're going to have uh, today and, and show us how to make it. Absolutely. So this is the Kumba Jam, uh, and it is uh, inspired by Kumba, which is the sixth principle of Kwanzaa, and that is the creativity principle. So I'm actually using a whiskey called Uncle Nearest, uh, which is the whiskey created, actually developed by uh, Nathaniel Nearest Green, who taught a young Jack Daniel how to make distilling. Um, he was a former enslaved man. So I'm going to start by adding to my cocktail glass two ounces of my Uncle Nearest, um, this cocktail is also inspired by a good friend of mine, also a member of the Cocktail Guru team, Tiffany Barriere. She's out of Atlanta. She's an amazing mixologist. I'm adding some jam. So this is blackberry jam. And maybe you've seen me use jam before in cocktails, but I love utilizing those really interesting ingredients in cocktails. So I put about a heaping tablespoon, if you can see it. I have some uh, lemon juice. So I'm just going to squeeze some fresh lemon directly into my glass, just like that. And just to balance everything out, a little bit of simple syrup. Okay, so we're gonna now add some ice. So you've seen me shake before, ladies and gentlemen at home. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's a, you know, it's a workout. And I like to say, shake it awake, don't rock it to sleep, right? So let's give it a really good shake. There we go. And now I'm separating my shaker, and I have my rocks glass, which is what this is. We're gonna add ice. To the rocks so that's you all know how important ice is in cocktails it creates the proper temperature for the drink and the right amount of water dilution so we're straining this out look at that color beautiful color and to give it a little bit more of a festive flair i'm just topping it ah. off with some bubbles some sparkling wine some prosecco and of course we need garnish right you know my theories my 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 facts which are that uh, garnish needs to make a drink look pretty, but also add a wanted flavor to the cocktail. So I actually have a dehydrated lemon wheel that we include in a lot of our cocktail kits that we're now mailing out to people all across the U.S. And I have the cocktail right here. Should I? I'm going to take a little sip. Can I do that? Yeah, you can. This is a cruel tease, Jonathan. I'm just—it's so, so close uh, and yet so far. I know. I know. If we had if we had the technology, I could like pass this through, and then you could have one on the other Someday. end. You know? Someday. Well, Someday. Well, che cheers to you. Cheers to you, Jonathan. Jonathan Pogesh is a cocktail guru. Glad you're doing well and your family's well, and we hope to see you in person in the studio soon. Thank you. Stay well and safe, everybody. Cheers. Be well.